You asked for more Sims 4 custom content, so here we are. This is Rock Paper Shotgun, aka Real Proper Sims, and I'm Alice, and I'm back with even more Sims 4 custom content packs that are better than EAs. But this time, they were selected by you, our lovely viewers. They're all free and available to you right now as we speak. All the links will be in the description. 2019 gave us several official packs, and 2020 is already kicking off with a surprise but desperately wanted Tiny Home Stuff Pack. With so many Sims 4 packs out there now, people often can't afford all the ones they want. So this is where fan-made stuff packs flourish. Oh, and if you liked today's video, why not actually give it a like? If enough people click the thumbs up button, I might have the bargaining power to rename my channel Real Proper Sims. First up, we have five different packs by Illogical Sims. Illogical Sims was mentioned a hell of a lot by you lot in the comments, so of course I had to go and take a look for myself and pick my favourites. To absolutely no one's surprise, my favourite were all five of their packs. Minimalist Bedroom, Contemporary Living, Sleek Kitchen, Modern Living and Simkia Furnishings to be precise. They're all fully base game compatible, which means they're even better for those trying to save money. The Minimalist Bedroom stuff by Illogical Sims comes with 25 new objects, 2 wall textures, 2 floor textures and they all have at least 8 Maxis Match wood swatches, which is great if you're looking to mix and match between base game and custom content. It's not just bedroom stuff though. God, I sound like an M&S advert. Sorry if I'm alienating non-British viewers. Here, have some context. This is not just food. This is M&S food. It's also got some desky bits too. Some bedrooms have desks, don't they? So it makes sense. But it's got more than you bargained for. If your sim is a creature of habit or likes having things matchy-matchy, then the contemporary living stuff goes hand in hand with the previous minimalist bedroom stuff pack. They match so well you would probably be a fool to not download both of them together, unless you hate giving your sims living rooms, in which case, you monster. What I'm trying to say is they have matching swatches and you could create a lovely open plan studio with both of these packs. Contemporary living includes over 20 new objects, 4 new doors and 1 wall recolor. And like the previous pack, includes 8 Maxis match wooden swatches. I love making kitchens in The Sims, I love dreaming up what my ideal kitchen would be like in real life, and so I'm a big fan of all things kitcheny like this, the Sleek Kitchen Stuff Pack, again by Illogical Sims. In this pack, you can expect to see a built-in oven slash stove slash cooker, I don't know what the preferred lingo is here, a new sink, new counters, stools, chairs, a moving ceiling fan, and other bits of clutter and artwork. There are 20 objects in total, one is an edited counter to get rid of its splashback, you know, so your food doesn't go on your walls. One thing though, the colour scheme is very grayscale. Do not adjust your TV, this is how it looks. My favourite thing about this pack is probably the Hollow Island counter. It looks so cool. I love it. The Modern Living Stuff pack has 13 new objects, 10 of which are completely new, 3 are older objects created by Logical Sims but with updated swatches to match the swatches in this pack, so all items have matching swatches. The highlight of this pack is the TV stand that has clutter slots on all 3 levels. Is there a god? I think there might be, and they're called Illogical Sims. Everyone loves Ikea, don't they? Well, everyone likes the idea of being able to have a house that looks that nice. They falsely lure you into all these nice looking rooms saying, you can have this too! Only when you take an item home, build it yourself, and then realise you now just have one nice chair in your otherwise sh** house. Then you look at your bank balance and decide, nope, I will just have to have the room of my dreams in my head. Or, in The Sims! Illogical has put together 45 objects that are inspired by Ikea and minimalist furniture in general, including kitchen, living and bathroom bits. It's much easier in The Sims because you don't have to build it yourself, but you can pretend your Sims have. There's a failed side table, instructions and a hammer included in this. This is too real. Next up we have another fan favourite, Peacemaker. They have so many good things that it's pretty hard to narrow down some of my favourites but I've given it a go anyway. I tried to go for some things that Illogical didn't cover so you can have a good mix of everything in your game, should you so wish. Again, all of these sets chosen are base game compatible. One thing to note though, Peacemaker's general look and style of items is a lot more alpha and a little less Maxis, though if you pick and choose the right things, you could easily make it work. First on the list is the Serenity bathroom, because I'm currently looking into getting my real life bathroom updated and I love looking at inspiration for them. This is a full bathroom set with 29 meshes with up to 40 different swatches and tones for nearly every item. Peacemaker ain't playing about with this bathroom. And that walk-in shower, so cute. Probably not doable in my own home as my dogs would treat the floor as a weird water bowl. Now, I love a good window seat and you know what The Sims is lacking? Good window seats. Thankfully, we have custom content creators like Peacemaker to help create good window seats and other integrated furniture, like a cabinet for your TV with three different styles and options. It's 12 new meshes with 24 to 35 swatches for each. 
Grab a good book, recline in your window seat and look at all the clutter on your TV unit. What more could you want? I love the look of this pack. It's clear Peacemaker has really looked into what kind of things people were filling their houses with in the mid-century. It was a time when technology was advancing and Art Deco was becoming a thing of the past, so things began to get a bit futuristic-y. It reminds me a lot of the prisoner set design around Port Merion, without the terrifying giant white balls. Anyway, before I go off on a tangent about weird TV shows, this pack has 40 meshes with between 8 and 50 swatches for each object, so it's good to see a new style of furniture in the game. I always feel like when the Sims team try to go for this era, they always fall short. Um, am, am I feeling okay? Am I, am I including a kid's bedroom pack in this video? I don't tend to have kids in my game, but I do feel like they get the short straws when it comes to interesting Sims things. And this stuff is just the cutest. It has child and toddler beds, loads of separate bed frame and bedding options, and most importantly, the colors are nice. There are 30 new meshes and all have between four and 44 swatches. Just look at this cute animal rug! The final selection from Peacemaker is this lovely office set, which has a new desktop, laptop, easel, and other office-y things, like a desk and bookcase. I spend about 90% of my weekdays in my home office, so it's really important it's a happy and nice space for me. The same goes for my Sims. Gotta keep the little Pixel Pals happy. I really love all 10 items, and they look really nice partnered up with other Peacemaker bits and bobs too. I was told off by a few of you for not including this in the last video, and you know what? Fair enough. Rustic Romance is a really cute pack, and it's all Max's match. It has loads of new clothing for all ages and tons of new build and buy objects. It was released on Valentine's Day back in 2018. Wow, how is that nearly two years ago? Get in the bin time. And it has over 70 items. It's a bit wedding-y, which is probably why I have overlooked it, as I don't tend to bother with the whole wedding thing in The Sims. Because she's lazy. Because it's a lot of hassle. She's lazy. But everything here is really lovely and can work without a wedding, apart from the veil. Don't go all Miss Havisham on us. I love the idea of creating a rustic little garden in real life, so these garden items are absolutely gorgeous. Think of a little patio area with this lovely ladder, its actual name by the way, not just an apt description, and this lovely planter, romantically called the Forest of Regrets. Oh. Another one by the Plum Bob Tea Society, and another one you all told me off for not including. You're right, you lot are always right. I missed out, I messed up, but I'm including them now. The Cottage Garden Stuff Pack took three months to create and has an incredible 171 items. That's a whole 101 Dalmatians worth of items more than Rustic Romance. And it's free! Custom content baffles me to this very day. It was a collaboration between 15 creators and the results are fantastic. There are loads of new creator sim items, hair, clothes, accessories, shoes and headwear for all ages and genders, but the buy mode is absolutely overflowing with new green fingered items. This pack would really complement a lot of the stuff from Rustic Romance. There's even a few build mode items too. Mainly just plants, but there's an old painted door too, which would look lovely on a shed. I absolutely adore the wall spigot sink and the wall mounted post box though. Uh, sorry, mailbox. Both of these packs combined could make some absolutely beautiful off the grid houses, especially paired with some of the creator sim items. Now, I know I have already included a Logical Sims Sim Kia pack, but this pack is a conversion of the beloved Sims 2 IKEA pack for The Sims 4, and it deserves to be included. I loved that pack so much. There are two downloads for this, or three if you include The Sims 2 pre-order reward items too. It's huge! With all downloads, there are a total of 76 IKEA items here, and I am just overcome with a wave of nostalgia when I place these objects. I don't only reminisce over The Sims 2, but also over some classic IKEA items, like these sofas, which nearly every student had in their uni house. And it also matches the sofa we have in the studio. Hey, I can remake our studio now. It's a bit tidier than in real life, but that's basically it. And yes, that does say two-seater, and yes, we do squeeze three people on it most of the time. Although, my boss Matthew could help with this if he laid off the pies. Unfortunately, the mesh for the classic IKEA love heart cushion wouldn't work, so it's been replaced by this Frog King, which I'm surprisingly fine with actually. All hail our Frog King, and our overlord the Expedit, of course. And the final suggestion I got from a few of you was Halloween Town Stuff by Sim Donut. I know Halloween is a fair way off now, depending on when you watch this video, really, but upload date is January, but it's always good to be prepared for ultimate spookums. This is not just a stuff pack. There I go again, sounding like an M&S advert. This is not just food. This is M&S food. But seriously, it's a whole build and stuff pack. There's a story to go alongside it. <clears throat> Where the residents of Willow Creek started disappearing a few 
few years ago, one October. And by Halloween, everyone was gone. This pack aims to be the second half of the story. <clears throat> Which is where every October the central park in Willow disappears and in its place there is Halloween Town. Named that way because at the end of the day on every Halloween, Halloween Town disappears again. Again. The town itself has a tavern, a potion shop, a bookshop, a stables, a town hall, a witch's tower, a marketplace, and two homes. There's also a huge catacomb underneath. Murder basement, anyone? You can find the lot in the gallery under a few different hashtags or SimDonuts username. Instructions are on the link in the description. But the stuff pack includes 82 different objects, including build and buy objects like doors, wallpapers, fireplaces, and also decorations like paintings, potions, and other bits of clutter. The pack site also lists other essentials you'll need to download by other custom content creators. Warning, a lot of these are outdated, no longer supported, and some of the links just don't work. But for the most part, it works, and you'll be able to replace the items pretty easily. This is absolutely massive and so impressive. I don't want to spoil it all, so go check it out for yourself. And there you have it, your suggestions of packs I missed out in my first video. Of course, if I've missed any again, please do what you do best and let me know in the comments below. I always love reading the comments you leave on these videos, so do let me know if you enjoyed it and if there's anything else you'd like to see me cover. I've already done my essential mods list and also the naughty mods list, so do check those out if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, do like it and subscribe to Real Proper Sims, aka Rock Paper Shotgun. We're not just a Sims channel, but I'm working on it. We cover loads of different games like Warframe, Shenmue, and Phoenix Point. Also, please do check out our Vampire the Masquerade and Divinity Original Sin 2 Let's Plays 2. Bye for now!